So on Friday, you said you could get polled. I told you everything, didn't I? <laughs> you did. This morning you were like, no top three. Oh, then, that's true. And then here you are. Top three, you must be delighted. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, don't know what to say. Like, I didn't think we were expecting to maybe be as quick as today. Um, we knew we made progress and we were quicker yesterday and that was evidence that we had made progress and the car was performing better and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, today I think we had a bit more expectation than last weekend. We thought we could definitely do a bit better. And I mean, I said before the race that there's potential to be racing them for a bit longer and a bit further into the race. Um, but uh, yeah, the car was, was really good to drive, like a big step forward from last weekend. And it shows how much of a difference it can make just in the car performing the way you want it to and um, to have that confidence to lean on the rear tyres and, and so on. And um, you can go from ending up 30 seconds behind to racing with these guys. And uh, I know Max was completely on a different <laughs> different circuit today, but uh, to race with Lewis and to race with, with Valtteri just on pure pace and to beat one of them because we were ahead or to beat one Red Bull, one Mercedes. And I mean, I would have said we, we had the pace to quite easily beat Valtteri today. Um, it's a good sign, but uh, yeah, I just would have loved to have been P2 as well. There was that moment with Checo, you weren't too happy with the penalty. He obviously did feel slightly different as well. What do you make of it? Um, I mean, it's lap one, but you're going for second place. He knows there's gravel on the exit of the corner. It's his risk and not mine. I don't know what he was expecting. You know? um, I need to see it from a different view because obviously I was in the car. It's hard to know exactly where they are all the time. Um, but yeah, it wasn't. In my opinion, he didn't commit enough. He wasn't like the car ahead into the corner. And um, yeah, he should have expected it at least, you know, so he should have backed out. He should have done something different um, because he didn't, I think, like complete the overtake that he was trying to achieve. So yeah, annoying for my, for, for you know, for me. Um, and uh, a bit unlucky, I think, but it's not my decision in the end of the day, so. I know that you've started to go well here in Austria. McLaren looks strong here as well, but you're consistently competing now in this really strong position. You're racing Red Bulls and Mercedes today. Is this the sign of things to come? Uh, I mean, I hope so, of course. But uh, whether or not we can keep this up at every racetrack, you know, this is one of the tracks we've done well every single year, qualifying in the race. Uh, it's always been one of our best circuits of the, of the season. So. I think the main thing is we don't just get too complacent and think this is where we are now because just last weekend when the car wasn't, you know, when we didn't have two weeks to nail everything, the car wasn't good enough. So um, yeah, we had a great day today and we've been fast all weekend, but I think um, I don't expect to be like this every single weekend throughout the rest of the season. I think it's going to be uh, much tougher again and not so much glory, so we'll see.